All right, Aries. The underlying energy that we're working with this week is the sun. Uh, that just tells me that there's some clarity coming up for you guys this week. Um, there's some happiness even, some potential happiness. Um, I don't see the Empress or anything, so I wouldn't say children. But for some of you guys, it could definitely be some children. Um, you guys could be expecting, could be um, pregnant. But I don't see the Empress anywhere, so this is just a very small, slim chance, okay? But majority of people, with the energy that we're pulling from this card, we're getting clarity, we're getting uh, potential happiness, um, things just coming to light, if that makes sense, okay? This is also the card for Leo. So for those of you, you guys could be dealing with a Leo at this time, um, or it could have some sort of um, ties to a Leo. Uh, but that is, but this is the energy that we're working with today, the sun. Now, the part of your reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This speaks of um, the universe's intervention, I feel. Um, this is what the card tells us when we've done everything that we could do. And the universe wants its hand in it to, like, push us to the proper direction. Um, this is a change of luck, a change of fate. Uh, this is seen as a change card. So when this comes up, there's some changes that's going to happen that are kind of out of your control. Okay, so, I mean, the universe doesn't completely stri uh, take away your free will, but something is going to happen. Uh, whether you notice it or not, whether you conduct the prop, like, conduct the change to happen or not, the change is coming and it's going to happen. However, it is crossed by the Ace of Wands. So... This new beginning, this exciting and passionate new beginning, is faded. Okay? Um, there's a change that's happening right now that's going to spark interest, um, that's going to spark um, new projects, new creative ideas, um, new creativity, uh, creative you know, aspirations. Um, so with the ace of wands here, there's some so there's some passion coming up for y'all, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a new beginning. It's gonna be it's probably for some of you that are in a relationship. This is a passionate new start for you guys. For those of you that are in a relationship, for those of you that are single, this is a passionate new venture um, that you're gonna be seeing here. It's gonna be taking off. Um, I'm not sure how what time when it's gonna come up. Um, but um, this is definitely speaking of a new beginning that's exciting. So get ready, guys. Okay? All right. So the crowning energy that we have here today is the star. So this um, star is about healing, manifesting, and, and um, hope. So this is telling me from the crowning energy um, to, have some, to have hope and take this time now to heal. This passionate new beginning that's happening right now, uh, that's going to be happening rather soon, um, is it, this is coming. It's, it's happening. There's nothing you can do to stop this. So take this time now to um, heal and to, you know, regain hope in your in yourself, okay? Because you guys are going to have a rocking good time, okay? Uh, the reason why we're saying that for the current energy is... Um, in the past, the night, the night of wands, the night of wands speaks of somebody that was a lot more fun. That's very playful. Someone that is the life of the party. Someone that's very good at starting projects and creative, like, you know, creative ambitions and aspirations. This is somebody that is, um, um, very, very good at starting stuff. But however, they, when things kind of get a little serious, they tend to back off. Um, they're kind of seen as the starters and not the finishers. They're kind of unreliable in some ways. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was some, that was like that had the characteristics of this. This is also uh, could be a young or immature um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That could have um, that this could be referencing in the past. Uh, this could be you guys. Uh, having feeling more fun, feeling more useful in your past. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what it's saying here. There was some definite playfulness, some definite, some passion, definitely in the past there from either you or your partner. 
um, or somebody that is significant in this the characteristics for that card. In the present, though, you guys have the Three of Pentacles. So right now, you guys are planning for the future. You guys are um, taking it upon yourselves to, you know, work out the practical practical stuff with your partner or with a group right now um, towards the future. Okay. And this is this is a really good card for those of you that are single. You doesn't mean this doesn't mean you have to plan for the future um, with somebody. This could be you planning for the future for yourself. In regards to a community, maybe um, for those of you that are in a relationship, you are you guys are planning for the future together. What steps you need to take to move forward um, to get this passion in the beginning started? Because um, it's happening. Whether you are less, you guys are just planning for the future and making sure that your future is at least you know somewhat structured. You know, you don't want to just go in there blind. And I think that's pretty cool. And how you see your future is getting your wish is the Nine of Cups. So you feel like you're going to be getting your wish in your future. Um, your dreams are going to come true. I think that's awesome, okay? This is the wish fulfillment card. And especially since it's um it's underneath the star. The star is about manifestation. The wish card is about manifesting. You guys are seeing that you're going to get what you manifested. And I think that's freaking awesome. Okay? So that is your reading for this week. Let me go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card for you guys. Wow, you see this? this? Oh my goodness. All right. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, so this could mean that there's some things that need to be healed within your family, healed within your um, your relationship. Um, I know I said that the, the sun could mean that there's children around. Even though there isn't the empress or any kind of pages around here, it's a very small chance you guys could be in a family for some of you guys that have couples. There are couples married, not married, that have families. This could mean that some, there's some issues that need to be, need some healing. You know, this is a time to do that before, you know, the, um, the new beginning comes. Um, so that's what it could be suggesting. But definitely so. This is, for those of you that are single, this could be, you should, you know, this is time for you to heal from family issues if you can't, like, figure out, you know, or, you know, um, make better, make, make the better, uh, the, the situation in your family better with your family, if that makes sense. Like, you can't fix any of the issues, it's just kind of how people are. Heal within yourself. That's what the star card is all about, healing within yourself. If you can't fix the problem, then accept the problem for what it is, let it go, and heal the wounds and um and aches and pains within yourself. That's the best that you can do. And that's what I think that's what the card is also saying as well. Okay. Alright. And the card that we're getting here. Wow. We have happy happy. And this is pretty much the same thing with the sun. Um so it's very correlating with the sun. This is about, you know, you know, being happy. Uh, ex you know, appreciating what you have. Um, I'm not saying that you guys haven't appreciated what you have, but this is a good time to, you know, um, just surround yourself in the things that make you happy. Happy, happy is about joy, contentment, um, feeling fulfilled, and that's probably that's probably why you see the nine of cups um, coming true. You see your wish coming true is because you feel fulfilled. You have happiness at this time especially with the sun so the sun isn't just speaking about clarity it's also speaking about happiness uh the first position that we're going to be working with is you and how you're feeling and what's going on with you at this time and what it's showing me today is that there is new love in your life guys awesome 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 new love you guys are in love you guys are beginning this new adventure in love emotional growth for y'all this is absolutely fantastic this is something that's great and new and fresh okay you guys are dealing with fresh new waters all right um so the ace of cups is definitely signifying that there's the ace of cups here 
So there's a new beginning in meds for y'all. Um, the next card that we're going to be working with is your goal, what you're trying to aim for in your relationships or in your love life. And it's for a stable place of commitment where there's celebration. Uh, this could also be even move, moving house for some of you guys, but this is telling me guys that you guys are looking for a bit more commitment. Uh, you guys want to celebrate. You guys want to move up to the next level in a relationship if you guys are already in one. Um, this is also the celebration card, of course, because they're in a place of stability. There is a higher level of commitment at this time, so they're celebrating. And this is kind of something that you guys want, and I am rooting for you guys, okay? Um, the thing that is keeping you from your goal, though, is the Queen of Cups. Um, so that's just the placement of what it is. The saying that the emotions are running through you, um, but they aren't, um, but they possibly aren't being expressed at this time. Um, this is all about the romance. This is all about, you know, feelings. There's some new stuff happening for y'all right now. And what it requires from you guys is to, uh, you know, to allow yourself to feel that way, to allow yourself to open up and let the romantic floodgates open. Um, uh, so... Perhaps there's um, this. Perhaps there's just a little bit of blockage in regards to um, feelings in a higher feeling this week in regards to the commitment. Maybe there isn't a romantic partner at this time, and that's what you're kind of having to go for. Um, the Queen of Cups is also someone that's a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, the characteristics of this card, the energies that we're working with is someone that's very intuitive, very, um, very much in touch with their emotions, okay? Um, so with that kind of, from, from you in the new adventure, this new love, you know, getting to your goal of, um, greater commitment, you have the Queen of Cups, so it's possibly saying, um, you, um, you're on search for a lover at this time, or you, you know, you're feeling loved up, but you don't have anywhere to express that to, right? Um, or perhaps you're just like, or perhaps there's someone in their feelings, and they're just, they're not really expressing that at this time, okay? But something tells me that this is, this has something to do with how you guys are doing, and how you guys are feeling. You guys are feeling very loved up, very, very much in love right now, but there is, there, I don't know about... I can't, I'm not sensing that there's much expression towards that at this time. Perhaps there is expression, or maybe that um, the feels are there, um, but there just needs to be that expression. There needs to be, um, there needs to have those feels of romance. Um, this, and the advice card that we have for you guys is strength. So this is definitely, possibly speaking, having the um having strength push you towards the stable new beginning or this oh, sorry the stable the stable leveling up phase that you guys are trying to get towards so the four of wands is all about you know, like i said before commitment and everything and what it's what this card is saying is that you have the strength to get you to this wonderful leveling up of a relationship okay um moving up in your relationship um is possible because you have the absolute strength to get you there. The Queen of Cups is saying that you are in love, you are feeling that passion, and you can get to that to that um, sense of commit uh, that higher sense of commitment because you have the strength to do it. So you guys run, you guys have that passion. Go ahead and do it, guys. You got this. Now for the Romance Angels, you have. I'll let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is just basically saying, um, it's highly suggesting for you guys right now to just be the queen of cups. Let that, those feelings flow, flow from in within you and then out of you, in and out. Just let that feel, let that feeling of love just take control, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, put your hands in and really kind of make things happen. This is you guys naturally feeling this way, and it's saying that just let the, let the water flow through you. Then you guys also have 
um, Treasure Island for, for uh, the Wisdom Oracle. This is just speaking of abundance and happiness at this time. Um, you do have this, and you guys, you know, this is like a pretty much you you know you're set. You've got you got a wonderful relationship at this time. Um, you have the treasure. Um, it's just uh, it's just letting you know that you are in a place of of great abundance in your relationship emotionally, um, possibly even financially, even. And you can, you're always going to find new gems and new things, um, new things about your partner that just makes them even more wonderful for you. Um, so this treasure island is not only saying that you are, you found the treasure, you have the fortune, um, you have, you know, what such a wonderful relationship, but you also have other treasures out there. Um, and using your intuition to find the other exes. Uh, find the X's that mark the spot to, that lead to other treasure together with your partner. And for those of you that are single, this is saying that this is the time for you to go ahead and use your intuition. The Queen of Cups, let those emotions flow out of you. And basically, you know, be in tuned to the, to, you know, the hidden gems, the hidden, the hidden treasure out there. Um, because you are surrounded by abundance at this time, okay?